Greetings everyone, allow myself to introduce myself. My name is Jay Hall, and welcome to a guide on how to A plus all the bosses in Cuphead. While it is difficult, it is possible. Together, we are going to get through this, I promise. If you need a refresher, in order to get an A plus, you must select regular difficulty, complete three parries, not take any damage, use six X moves or two supers, and complete it in a reasonable amount of time. Up for number three is Hildeberg. Aren't they clever with these names? Now this battle is a little different. You will be flying around in a small plane instead of just being yourself. There are really not that many useful charms that you will be able to purchase at this stage. You can use the extra heart if you have it to help you practice, because this battle will probably take you a few attempts. First off, we're going to check out the blueprints on how to fly. And for the love of God, please remap the controls to something you're comfortable with. I use my right trigger as fire and left trigger as my lock for standing in place. While flying, you should be almost constantly firing, so it helps to have it on something other than a face button. Flying has a preset X move and super. The X move fires a bomb that will pass through and damage everything it touches. Your super, on the other hand, turns you into a bomb that explodes after a short time or until you hit something. You won't be damaged while using this and for a short while after exploding, but you do explode even if it is the tiniest touch from an enemy. Parrying is super simple and easy while flying, so make sure you take advantage of it whenever you can. Your shrink move will help you get out of a lot of sticky situations. Not only does it make you smaller, it also increases your speed to, I'd say about 50% faster than normal, although it does decrease the range of your shots dramatically. Have this in a spot that is easy to hit in a panic situation. Now let's get to it! Hilda has many phases and one phase that could actually be two different things. We'll get to that later though. First part is default Hilda. Her only attack at this point is yelling HA at you. These are really easy to avoid since they only travel in a straight line. Purple bomb dudes will also show up and shoot slow projectiles at you. These are your best chance to get your parries in, so don't try and shoot them down right away. Focus your shots on Hilda almost exclusively. Once she balloons up, get to the bottom or top of the screen immediately and stay there. She'll shoot to the left quickly in her current position and then slowly return to the right. She can hurt you on her way back. Hilda then transforms into a ram. About every four seconds she'll use her only attack, which is a charge. It's easy to avoid since she telegraphs it by rearing her head back. Use your X move a couple times to bring her down quicker. When she's about to go down, she'll charge without warning, so be careful near the later parts of this stage. Phase 3 is back to her original form. Green bomb dudes are added that shoot 4 shots and no pink stuff, so try to take these guys out quickly. Hilda also adds a tornado to her arsenal. As soon as she fires it, get small and go to the far left. Then loop up or down, whichever way gives you the most distance between you and the tornado. Focus her down quickly and you shouldn't have to face the second one, but save your super for the next part. Now at this point she can transform into one of two things. The first is what I like to call the cloud twins. These twins won't attack directly, but rather put an item in your area that fires in a clock-like rotation. It only fires for one full rotation, but the starting point is seemingly random, so you can get screwed over if you're unlucky. Use your super early to try and get them out of the way quickly. You can get lucky and only have to face one of these wheels, but most of the time it takes two before you can kill them. The second possibility is an archer. Again, use your super right away to burst him down. He'll fire an arrow along with three stars in a fan pattern, if you can, take out these stars quickly because they do home in on you and follow you around for quite a while. At this point, surviving with no hits is more important, so don't be afraid to stay small and avoid the stars while bursting them down in between. Whichever one you get, you end up in the same place. I'm sure you'll have one you prefer over the other, but it's luck of the draw with who you're given. Hilda comes back a third time with no new moves. There does seem to be an increase in purple bomb dudes though. Hit her with the occasional X move so your super meter stays about half full for this part. Once she starts whining about her headache, get in position and do not stop firing. Use this to fill up your super bar before the last phase. Once she finally transforms into a moon, hit her with your super. Be careful to avoid the stars flying across the screen when going in. You'll be safe when retreating though. Lay into her with all you've got, Captain! Fire X moves when you get them and avoid the stars. As far as UFO beams, red UFOs fire on the far left while gold ones fire more so near the center. I know it'll be hard to keep track of colors with all the fighting going on, but it does at least tip you off to where you should be positioning yourself during the fight. One round of UFOs should be all it takes to slay the beast if you're using your X moves consistently. If you made it through without taking any damage and hitting all your benchmarks, you should be greeted by a juicy A+. Well deserved, my friend.
Hey everyone, thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more guides like this on Cuphead, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel since I hope to be uploading more of these daily until I finish the whole game with A-pluses along with all of you. Together, we can conquer the beast known as Cuphead. Until then, I'll catch you on the flip side.